Over 100 pages of emails were released detailing the hours following the December 4th incident. In the first page, a Peabot official notes this wasn't the first time they've had issues, noting the panels had come loose before. In the previous two cases, the safety, uh, the safety latches, because there's a carabiner and then there's a wire tether, uh, they, they functioned and so the panel didn't come off. Um, so of course it's always a concern, but at the same time in you know, 12 years of operation, it's only happened twice. This is the panel that hit a woman on the head while she was walking across this bridge. She only had minor injuries and refused treatment. Peabot says the top of the tram is made up of four panels, two big ones and two small ones. It was one of the big ones, a 35 foot square piece of metal that fell earlier this month. The tram was immediately shut down and inspected. Immediately afterwards, they looked at the uh, they looked at the carabiners and the tethers. They strengthened them so they put in thicker wires, thicker carabiners. But for those that use the tram often, the thought of another piece coming loose or worse falling isn't much of a concern. I feel like since it's happened a couple times, I think that they're definitely going to figure out what's going on and make sure they get that dialed in. I'm sure that now that, that somebody has been injured, they're going to take it a little more seriously and and probably like put an end to that. Now back to those emails, an internal discussion of how to handle the incident. Due to an influx of concern from OHSU employees, they released an internal statement. We did have a bulletin. OHSU did share this information with us and let us know what had happened. And for a tour spot that has given over half a million rides to employees, patients and tourists, there were no plans to release a statement to the public unless requested by the media. The tram has two inspections done annually, one surprise and one scheduled. There was an inspection done actually a couple weeks before this latest incident, citing no safety concerns. The latest incident, well, that report will be released sometime next month. Back to